This video contains images of graphic violence and warfare. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, I'm Robert Kajiwara, coming to you from in front of the Shisa, or Lion Dog statues, of the Center for Okinawan Studies at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. This presentation is for the Master of Asian International Affairs program for Asian Studies 687, Conflict and Cooperation in Asia. The title of this presentation is Conflict and Cooperation in Okinawa. I am native Lu Chuin, also known as Okinawan or Uchinanchu, and throughout this presentation, I will be drawing on a lot of my own personal experiences living, working, and studying in Lu Chu or Okinawa. In order to understand Okinawa today, you have to have at least a basic understanding of Okinawan history, culture, and values. However, most Westerners and Japanese people know virtually nothing about these subjects. Thus, they struggle to understand why Okinawans strongly dislike the U.S. and Japanese military presence of our islands. All translations in this presentation are my own, unless otherwise noted. Luchuans are the indigenous peoples of the Luchu Islands, as recognized by various United Nations organizations such as UNESCO, CERD, the Human Rights Committee, and many other organizations and scholars around the world. Archaeologists believe Luchuans have inhabited the Luchu Islands for at least 32,000 years. Over that time, we have developed our own unique history, culture, languages, values, spirituality, and identity. Lu Chu historically had close, friendly, mutually beneficial relations with China, Korea, and Southeast Asia. Lu Chu became a center of international trade, finance, diplomacy, and cross-cultural exchange. It should be noted that Lu Chu has never declared war on another nation. In 1854, under the leadership of Matthew Perry, the United States signed a treaty with Lu Chu in which the U.S. officially recognized Lu Chu as a sovereign and independent country. Shortly after, the Netherlands and France would sign similar treaties. Then, in 1879, Japan used its new Western-style military to invade and illegally annex Lu Chu against the will of Lu Chuans. Not long later, China and much of the rest of Asia and the Pacific would also be invaded by Japan. During World War II, Japan intentionally placed an inordinate amount of military presence onto Uchina or Okinawa Island with the deliberate intent of sacrificing Uchinanshu or Okinawans in order to protect Japan. This resulted in the Battle of Okinawa in 1945, in which more than one-fourth of the Uchinanshu population was killed during a time span of just three months. Japanese soldiers intentionally murdered thousands of Uchinanshu, including women, children, and the elderly, and also forced thousands of others to commit suicide. After the war, most of Japan's other colonies received back their independence except for Luchu because the United States military decided to keep Luchu for itself to use for military bases. Luchuans lived under direct U.S. military rule, had no form of democracy, and strongly opposed the U.S. military. Professor Hoshin Nakamura of Okinawa University survived the Battle of Okinawa but lost his younger brother. He has been an advocate for the restoration of Luchu's independence for over 50 years. He and other Luchuans at the time demanded a restoration of Luchu's independence, but the U.S. ignored these demands and in 1972 gave Luchu to Japan without a vote from Luchuans, which is illegal under international law, and since then, Luchuans have lived under joint U.S. and Japanese occupation. Professor Nakamura told me that during the Vietnam War, the U.S. military said that they are in Okinawa in order to protect Okinawans from the Viet Cong. However, the Viet Cong won the war and never invaded Okinawa. 
now the US military is saying the exact same thing about China. However, due to the long history of peace and friendship between China and Luchu, the overwhelming majority of Luchuans do not see China as a threat. Even the US government has privately admitted this via WikiLeaks. Luchu shares an ocean border with China and is actually much closer geographically to many major Chinese cities than it is to Tokyo. So the fact that the overwhelming majority of Luchuans do not see China as a threat is significant. In spite of the ongoing oppression by both the United States and Japan, Chinese culture is very much still embedded into the native Luchuan or Okinawan culture and is easily seen today. The truth is the overwhelming majority of Luchuans or Uchinanchu strongly oppose the US and Japanese military occupation of our islands. Although Uchina or Okinawa makes up less than 1% of Japan's land area, it contains over 70% of the military presence, which causes numerous problems including accidents, crime, economic deprivation, environmental contamination, and the threat of war, making Okinawans a target. So while the U.S. and its ally Japan have been the cause of a lot of conflict in Okinawa, it's actually been China who has been very cooperative with Okinawans and very supportive of Okinawan rights. I'm just about out of time for today, so I'll wrap it up here. I leave you with a verse from a very famous traditional Luchuan song called Tin Sagu Nu Hana. First, I'll recite the verse in the original Uchinaguchi, or Okinawan language, and then I will provide an English transliteration. Ichitaran kutuya, chui tare dare, tageni uginati du, uchiyu wataru. To act selfishly, or to act in each other's best interests, mutually beneficial cooperation will reach across the world. A restoration of Luchu's rightful independence will not only protect the rights of native Luchuans, it will also allow Luchu to once again become a center of international peace, prosperity, mutually beneficial cooperation, and multilateralism in the Asia-Pacific region. This concludes my presentation for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.